Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. Action RPG Murasaki Mist, originally shown off as far back as E3 2014, is releasing on the PlayStation Network on the 15th of March. What specific territories it's launching is unclear, but it appears to be at least Latin America and North America. Green Game, Time Swapper, the sequel to Red Game Without a Great Name, is coming to Vita on the 4th of April. The game will have 50 levels and will require manipulation of time and traps to keep the bird alive. Fallen Legion, a previously PS4 only 2D action RPG, is coming to Vita sometime in the future, as revealed by Kinda Funny Games' Greg Miller. The game involves three characters that can be swapped between for huge combos, fighting through stages making decisions for the entire kingdom. The game doesn't have a release date yet. Compile Hard have announced the latest in their Genkai Toki series, Seven Pirates. It's a pirate RPG that focuses on the chests of the main characters and shows a story of finding seven treasures. It'll be out in Japan sometime in the summer. Unepic, a 2D RPG focused on being old school, is coming to the Vita and PS4 very soon, with the developer saying that it may be available on the 15th of March in the States and the 16th in Europe. The game was accidentally released over a week or two ago, so some people might already have it. Moon Hunters, an RPG based around searching for the moon, is coming to Vita sometime in the future. The game has run through times of an hour or so, with procedural generation and decision making thrown into the mix. The game will release after the PS4 version, which is coming in a few months. The monster breeding RPG Cyrilim is getting a sequel. Under the thoroughly creative name Cyrilim 2, the new game will have 200 new creatures, new biomes, breeding, a story, and other tweaks and changes. The game will first be on PC, then mobile devices, before a PS4 and Vita release. Dates! Ease 8, Falcom's new game, is coming to Vita on the 21st of July, with the PS4 version coming sometime in 2017. Mega Tag Mention, Blank vs Zombies is launching April 26 and April 29 for North America and Europe. Trials of Cold Steel 2 is launching in the fall. 99 Vidas is launching sometime in July. Day of the Tentacle Remastered launches on March 22. And Pixel Hunter, a retro 2D platformer, launched on the store this week. And finally this week, two games got notable patches. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth got a patch that unlocks seven new Digimon and fixes some voice problems, while Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs Force got a patch in Japan that has a new arcade style mode and six new playable suits. That's it for this week. Channel update. I have more videos going up soon, including a Shinobito 2 video that I rescheduled because go me, now I can't look like I have my ducks in a row. There's also a video of Dre on the way sometime soon and I'm working on more. Either way, like, subscribe, comment, or share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.